Ladies and gentlemen, the sun is victorious again. Asterisk. We are looking at Comet C 2019 Y4 Atlas. And everybody knows that it has been breaking up, fragmenting. And now we're looking at a orange Hubble picture of its chunks and its debris and its dust. Who knows? Maybe it's aliens. Maybe, maybe the comet is multiplying. You know, like when amoebas split uh, and create multiple parts of it. But what is most surprising about Comet Atlas, it is still brightening. That is right. Even though it is breaking up, fragmenting, coming apart, it is now at a 4.9 magnitude. Everybody knows that when it gets to about a 4.5 magnitude, you can see it with your naked eye. So this story only gets more fascinating and more interesting. Plus, it's 69 degrees separation from the sun. Snicker, snicker, snicker. But yes, our sun victorious again. Here's Atlas fresh off our NASA Hubble observed observation. Observation? Not as many fragments as one hoped for, but still very quite impressive. Fragments are evolving quickly. We have four assigned fragments on Saturday, but I already have trouble figuring out which is which. Um, maybe you could name them. So, uh, Comet Atlas won't even reach Earth's ecliptic for another week. So we will be on Earthquake and Volcano Watch throughout all of April and May. And then it doesn't reach Perihelion until next month. And then you got Comet Swan. It is also impressive, and it also won't make a closest approach until next month. So, 2020 continues to get escalatingly more interesting on every single level. So, I highly recommend you pay attention and you be grateful for all the little things we have in life. Because civilization is fragile, and the earth is weird, and life is weird. And nobody really wants to work together into the future. So it makes everything extra climactic all the time. So I will be here updating for you. I am your Planetary Defense Commander, and I love you. Everybody, stay cool. God bless everyone.